Hey, fourth grade, it's Ms. Bell here in the science lab. I am going to work with you guys today on a quick um, investigation that has to do with observing state of matter. Now, when we talk about state of matter, that means is it a solid, is it a liquid, or is it a gas? And you guys have worked with this before in previous grade levels, so it shouldn't be anything new in fourth grade. Um, there will be three different items that we're looking at today, and you're going to be looking at those items in a clear glass beaker and also um, in a balloon, which is kind of cool too. And even though you're watching this video and doing this assignment virtually, um, you don't really get the same experience as if you were in the science lab getting hands-on and, and um, getting to see and feel and hear and smell. Um, the investigations, but I'm going to try my best to um, let you guys um, be able to observe and see and understand this science lab. So, here we go. Okay, so in your science journal, you should have a chart um, drawn up and labeled and, and um, these are the things that we will be focusing on in this lab, we're going to do observations. Usually we use our five senses, you know, what do you see, what do you feel, what do you taste, what do you smell, what do you hear, but again, because it's virtual, um, we're only going to be focusing on what do you see. Also, you're needing to decide the state of matter. Is something a solid, liquid, or gas? And then at the very end, you need to uh, be specific with your reasoning and write down why you think that and what's your evidence. A scientist doesn't just stop with observations and coming up with an answer. They need a reason why they came up with what they came up with. Okay, so for the first item, we're going to be talking about water. Okay, as you can see in my um, glass beaker, the water is in here. It's only about maybe two-thirds up. And when I move it slightly from left to right, you're able to see what happens to the water with movement. Now, in this balloon, I have water, okay? And if I squish the balloon, the balloon pops back, okay? If, you, if I shake it, you can hear the, the water moving around inside the balloon. Okay, So go ahead and write in the first column, um, what do you see with these? Talk about maybe the color, maybe the shape, how it fills up or doesn't fill up the container. And then go ahead and Write um, whether you think it's a solid, liquid, or gas. And then, of course, write your reasoning. As you fill out your chart, go ahead and pause the video. And then we'll come back and look at the second item. Okay, so we're back with our second item, which happens to be sand. Now with the water, I filled it up about two thirds high, but this uh, beaker with the sand, I only filled up about a fourth or a third of the way. Now this sand is mixed with small little um, pebbles and stones. Sometimes you can see that in sand when you go to the beach. Or sometimes um, those little rocks and pebbles are, are grinded down and all you'll see are the really, really, really small tan or yellow looking colored um, granules of sand. And inside the balloon, I also have sand. Now it's not filled up with air like the water balloon was, but here you can see me trying to squeeze it and you can also hear the crunch of when I smash the balloon. 
So again, go ahead and write, what do you see? Talk about color. Talk about size. Talk about shape, if there is a shape. Talk about how it fills up the container. And then um, write down your, um, your answer of whether you think it's a solid liquid or gas. And then on the very last column on the right, go ahead and write your reasoning. Why do you think that? What type of evidence do you have that states whether it's a solid, liquid, or gas? And as you fill out your chart, go ahead and pause the video, and then we'll come back and look at the very last item. Okay, so we're back and we're looking at our third item. Now, you might say, Miss Bell, are you playing a trick on me? There's nothing in that glass beaker. And in a sense, I'm not playing a trick on you, but there is something inside here and there's air. Like we breathe, like I'm breathing right now and you're breathing right now. Also inside this balloon, I blew this up two days ago and it has already deflated. Um, as you can see, I can squish it when I shake it. There's no sound like there was with the water or the sand. And I have this blue balloon here because I want to show you what it looks like um, to blow up a balloon with our own air that comes out of our bodies. Okay. So here's a balloon from two days ago, and here's a balloon right now. Now if I let some air out, it can get smaller. So what does that tell you about air? Okay. So in your first column, go ahead and write what you observe. What do you see? If anything, can you even see anything? And then label it as either a solid, liquid, or gas. And then write about your reasoning why you think it's a solid, liquid, or gas. Why do you think that? What type of evidence is there um, with these examples? Okay, so hopefully your chart is all filled in in your handy-dandy science notebook. And just as a... Um, refresher in case you got confused or whatnot. When you think of sand, let's say I'm moving it from one container to another, if you're still confused, is it a solid, a liquid, or a gas? I'm not so sure. Um, if you happen to have a magnifying glass at home, you can always look and see how those particles look. Okay, so here I have moved the document camera to zoom in, and now I'm also going to place the magnifying glass over it for you guys to get a better view of what that sand looks like under a magnifying glass. So sand is really, really small, tiny, tiny particles, and if you're still confused, Try to magnify or make those sand particles really large. Now let's say I had a handful of sand right here, but instead of sand, I have marbles because those sand particles have enlarged. Now what does it look like when I put the marble in the jar? Okay, look at how, or observe, how they're filling up the jar or not filling up the jar. Okay, now compare that with sand like what we saw earlier.